Hello friends, this is Barbara from Wigs and Fluff. Now, in today's video, I have the unboxing of the Maya. The Maya by Polly Young. Now, I bought this on the Polly Young site, and I'm not sure what it's going to be. But first, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. And also, if you want to help me a little further, stay to the end of the video, and that will help the algorithm. Now, on to the unboxing of the Maya. So here we have her. She's just like this. And I have her in 1488A number 8. 1488A number 8. I'll show you the tag in just a minute. And here she is. She's got, look at the dark rooting. I like it already. I like it already. Um, sorry, I have, there's a plastic tag on here I need to take off. And it's going to be stubborn. There we go. Now, as far as the gold string that Paula Young uses, these are usually pretty easy to get off. I love that about Paula Young. Look at that, how easy that is. It just comes so far so good anyways. Uh, I knew I spoke too soon. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Got it. Got it. So here it is. This is... Ooh, it's not even turned out. It's not even... It's still wide open. So here it is, the Maya in 1488... A number eight, and it, which is wheat rooted, wheat rooted. So here she is. I'm going to give her a really good shake. I'm not sure this one has bangs, and I don't know why I would have ordered this one. I'm not sure why I ordered the Maya. Just not sure. So I'm going to shake her up really good, really good, and then I'm going to back comb her. And it's going to take the part out. It's going to take, you know, everything. We're just going to start from ground zero with this hair. There we go. Notice I said hair. Because it becomes your hair. Just like this right here becomes my hair. And I am wearing Landry again today. Um, just because I love it so much. And just because I did that story on her yesterday. Which was so, it was kind of silly. But it's true. I didn't know what to do with her. She looked kind of ugly. And then one day, I just got the idea. I think I'll fix her. And that's what I did. I fixed her. So, I have another one that I'm working on right now that I'm going to fix as well. And then I'll show you how that one turns out just as soon as I get this one worked out. Now, we'll have to see. I'm going to take the Landry off. The Landry was promoted to a head as soon as I fixed her. She got a head of her own, a styrofoam head of her own. So I'm putting her back on the styrofoam head. I love that, promoted to a head. She was promoted to a head. She was a good little wig, and that's what we're going to do. So here comes the Maya. Are you ready? Here we go. I'm not sure about this one. I'm not sure at all why I bought this one. <laughs> it's just not sure what caused me to want to buy this particular wig. Um, not sure at all. But this is in the color Wheat Rooted. Now, this is a curly wig. It's got... Okay. Let me get the ear tabs in place so I know I've got it on right. Okay, so we're either going to have to cut the ear tabs or we're going to have to use a little clip which will hold this in place because I cannot stand it in my face. And my little face is such that if the bangs are not done just right, it's going to go into my face. <laughs> it doesn't nearly every time. But the good news is that those little uh, clips 
that I've got like this one right here. And you can get them just about anywhere. Here's a black one, if you can see that. I don't know if you can see it because I got so much black in my blouse. See, these little clips, they're tiny. You can find them on Amazon and I'll leave you a link for that. And you can find them in the drugstore and you can find them just everywhere. Uh, Marshalls has them. The, I think the grocery store has them, really. So here she is. She's really cute. She's got that same kind of look that the Landry does, if you ask me. That's just the asymmetric kind of uh, look that I, I really kind of like. But she may need some bangs. And I don't know if I can do bangs in her. I'll have to think about it and see whether or not they would work. But there's the back of her. There's the front of her, sides of her, and how she looks on me. Now, if you're a person like me who has bangs, that likes bangs, because um, they compliment you, which bangs usually compliment me, unless they're in my face. Now, this one is just too long, and it does not go to the side the way that I want it to. So this one just is not going to work for me. It might work for somebody else who might part it differently, who might do something differently with it. If I parted it down the middle, it would look worse. Here are the bangs right there. I might just cut me some bangs. I think I see a, a way to cut bangs. And you know me, I'm a Mad Max when it comes to scissors. Mad Max. I will cut that sucker. <laughs> I will cut the wig. Yep. If I think I can do it and make it look better, I will. Now you can see it's kind of a shag-like haircut. It reminds me, it does remind me of the Landry quite a bit. And the Landry, I have bangs. I cut bangs in the Landry, too. Beautiful, beautiful color. I love the root, the wheat rooted. That's what it is, wheat rooted. And this is the number eight up there at the top. And you can see that it's got some of the darkness right here as it goes across. So this is, this is what the Maya looks like. I'm not sure why I bought this one or ordered this one from Paula Young. I just don't know. But she is really cute. I like her. I like her a lot. And I think I'm going to cut some bangs in her to suit myself. Now, you may have a face where this particular hairstyle works for you perfectly. Remember, everybody's face is different. It's a different size head. If It's, it's a different shape. And so what looks good on me may not look good on you and what looks good on you may not look good on me. Everybody is made different. Thanks to the Lord, our Father. Every single person is made different. So, you know, we just don't know. Sometimes one way will look good on somebody and others I might could twist it I'm just thinking if I could just twist it and work it in there that way, but then, I don't know, it might stay there for a while, but it's going to come down on my face eventually, I think. So let's take her off and have a look at the inside of the Maya. My goodness, she pulled my hair right out, what little there is of it. Let's turn her inside out and take a look and see. She does have Velcro adjusters, yay. Velcro adjusters, good old Paula Young. She has, um, all of this is permatease, or this lace cover. She does have a bit of permatease, and she's got this lace to cover that. And then she's all open wave in the back, just a very, very traditional cap, not much to it. And um, she has velvet ear tabs. Look at that, velvet ear tabs. And these kind is the kind that you can bend if you want to. These will bend so you can wear glasses. So 
it's a possibility with this one. Beautiful hair color. I love the wheat rooted. I love the darkness of the root. Um, that just appeals to me. I think it's beautiful. I'm going to shake her up again. Won't hurt. Won't hurt. Wake up. Wake up, little Susie. Wake up. Let's see if we can get her awake. <laughs> Sometimes it does take a little bit of doing. So, turn her around the right way. There she is. I'm going to put her back on again. And then I'm going to see what I can do this time. Let me get those ear tabs correct. All right, now we've got all of this hair in the front that we need to do something with. And I'm wondering if it will twist behind. See, that it is a shag cut. You can see that it is definitely a shag cut. I have combed it and brushed it every which way but loose. And I'm hoping it's just not going to do that for my face. It's just on my head size. It's not going to do that. Now, if you had a larger head, it might work better for you. If you have one of the larger heads, this is a nicely fitting wig. Um, it feels like a little loose. It does feel a little loose on the loose side. So it could be um, a little bit on the loose side. So it could fit if you have a larger head. It could fit nicely. So I'm going to comb it back in the back. She wants to have her hair down and up toward the crown. It'll comb down and then it's just all shag after that. And you can see how pretty this really is. This is so pretty. Pretty, pretty little wig. And if I wear a barrette, I'm good. If I wear a barrette, I mean a clip like that, I'm good. But until I cut those bangs, you know, I'm going to have to have a clip in there because it's going to fall in my face. And I don't like that. I have chickens to tend to. I have other things that I have to get done. And I can't have my hair falling in my face 24-7. So, anyways, it will have to be a clip. But that's okay. I can handle a clip. I can deal with the clip. Wrong on me. There we go. Now I've got it where it's not gonna. I had it that time. It was very loose before. But I'll have to wear it like this until I cut the bangs. That's all there is to it until I get around to cutting hair. I need to have a big hair cutting session again. So, like I've done in the past, a big old hair cutting session. So, that is the Maya by Paula Young in 1488 number eight, which is wheat rooted. So she does have some curls on her. She really does. But these are um, shag. This is a shag type haircut and is probably the reason why I got her. Okay, now I want to talk to you about something else there about Jesus. There is no power of hell that can block me from the hand of God. There isn't. Here in the power of Jesus, I stand. I am his and he is mine. Here in the power of Jesus, I stand. Now those are some beautiful words to a song, a praise and worship song about Jesus. In times like these, we need these words to help us stand up for Jesus. This is difficult times we're in right now, and we need to stand for him, and we need to stand for Jesus. Trust him today. You will, um, if you just believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, and believe in your heart that he died on the cross for your sins, that God raised him from the dead, and proclaim him Lord with your mouth, you will be saved. That's Romans 10, 9 and 10. And I pray that anyone who has never prayed that prayer from their heart and really meant it, 
I pray that you will do it today and you will be saved. You're going to notice a difference in you if you really mean it. Now, a lot of people say those words and they don't mean it. They're just like words. And instead, it needs to come from the heart and it has to be true because Jesus knows your heart. He does. Now, um, in tomorrow's video, I will be presenting a wig talk. Tips and tricks on of wigs. Tips and tricks. All of my tips and the tricks. So, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment below. And don't forget my shorts on YouTube. Three cute wigs every single day. Now, that's my story for today. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.